Let's turn to Bayelsa State where more endorsement are uh, coming the way of former Governor Seriake Dixon as the Independent National Electoral Commission looks set to announce a date for the by-election in Bayelsa West Senatorial District. The latest to join the fray is the vocal Bayelsa West Ijo Youth Leaders Forum who describe him as possessing the requisite pedigree, knowledge and experience to attract development to Sagbama Ikerimo Bayelsa and the Ijo Nation at large. Ovietemi George reports. He are marked for construction by the federal government over 40 years ago. This area was just a forest until the administration of former Governor Seriaka Dixon awarded a contract for the construction of the Bayelsa West Senatorial Road with bridges linking communities in Sagbama and the Kerimo local government areas. Today, members of the Bayelsa West Ijo Youth Leaders Forum meet in Aleburi four months after the former governor attended the maiden matriculation ceremony of the Bayelsa State Polytechnic in the community. HS Dixon has been able to bring a polytechnic, a tertiary institution, to Aleburi community where it will turn the fortune of this community. Today, I can comfortably drive from Yenagua to Kirimo. Because of what HS Dixon has done, all the youth of Ekeremo, even Alebri, we want him to go to the Senate. If not for Seriake today, Alebri will not have school. A man who has the voice, who has the experience, who has the courage, who has the knowledge, who has the know-how to speak not just for Bayasa West Central District. HS Dixon is a pan job man that leads job people and looks at all the job, irrespective of the boundaries we have in the five states as his own. And therefore, sending HS Dixon to become a senator is giving the joint nation a voice. For many, the two-time member of the House of Representatives and the first governor to successfully complete two terms in office is a symbol of the Ijo struggle, aspirations, hope and unity whose voice should be heard in the Senate. He has shown so much love and passion for the women. Today we have a lot of women as councillors and we have them as appointees. Himself and his wife, they have given us this opportunity. We know when he gets there, he will not forget us. That zoning agreement reached before now must be sustained. Already we have a House of Red member, Honorable Fred Agbedi, from Ekerimo. So we don't expect anybody from Ekerimo to go and contest for Senate uh, again. That decision is a decision of the people. And of course, the youth, you cannot do election without the youth. We have spoken. Anybody that is uh, uh, contesting this election from Ekerimo to share this idea because it is not the turn of Ekerimo people. We don't have a panic job voice now. I joined the, the numerous callers in calling our leader who gave platform to young men to grow politically and develop themselves. We have unanimously endorsed him. And then the voice vote of affirmation. If you are supposed to say hi. hi. Again, say Neil. I have it. Of Vietnam, George, TVC News, Aleburi.